Hey y'all, started a new project and uh, thought I'd uh, start a channel to document it. Uh, I'm going to call it, I don't know, RV Aquarium or something like that. But I, I sold my house a while back and uh, bought an RV and moved down to the Texas coast um, I'm, I'm to be closer to family. And I'm long-term parked here and I couldn't stand being this close to the water and not having a marine aquarium. I've kept marine aquariums for years and years and years and it was just driving me nuts. And I thought it'd be a really cool idea to set up an aquarium um, with things collected locally. And um, so that's what I got going on here. I bought a Fluval all-in-one setup um, and uh, you know, it's, it's specifically made for, or they advertise it as being for salt water. And um, I've even got, a, it even has a protein skimmer uh, that is specifically made for this tank that I have on order. It's sold separately. Um, but anyways, I went and cl collected, I'm using natural seawater and I'm going to be doing water changes with natural seawater. And um, I've been collecting, uh, you know, uh, sand, gra um, basically crushed oyster shell, which, you know, the, the shore is just full of, you can't avoid it. And a few rocks that I got in the in the water, and um, and yeah, and then a few other things too, like uh, you know hermit crabs. These guys are everywhere. Um, you know this barnacle rock is cool, and there are a couple of live barnacles on there. I don't know how long I can keep those. Um, and then I found this rock, which has uh, oysters on it. Um, the two on the ends are of course dead, and I found that rock, and I thought it looked really cool, so I grabbed it. And then when I was collecting, I came across a fish, I was trying to catch a fish that went under a rock and I, I scooped it up and it turns out the rock was actually this oyster. And he is actually alive. Um, he's closed at the moment, but he has been open and feeding. And then there are these cool little shrimp uh, that are very abundant. Um, they're uh, called grass shrimp or glass shrimp or marsh shrimp. They're very common, I think, all along the coast of the United States, really. And uh, they're supposed to be very hardy and will even breed in the tank. So I'm going to keep collecting some more of those because they're I think they're kind of cool. Um, I've got a crab. I don't know what kind of crab it is. Maybe some kind of blue crab in the in the back there in, the, in between the rocks. I don't know if you can see him. He's kind of well hidden. He was spazzing out. Another hermit crab wanting to show off for us. Um, he was spazzing out. And uh, then I gave him a small piece of chicken and uh, he has settled down, hunkered down with that little piece of raw chicken. And he, he's not letting go of it. He's, he's been eating on it off and on. Um, but it's funny, he's just holding on to it like there's no tomorrow. Um, oh, right now, the hermit crab's trying to get it from him. Um, so anyways, but anyway, I, I, I looked around and I couldn't see where anybody else was doing something similar. So I thought I'd document this a little bit. Um, I do, you know, I went and got a fishing license. I think that's all you need to collect these guys. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to, you know, add some more stuff. There's some uh, goby species that are native locally. I'd like to try and catch some of those. I'm going to do some cast netting, see what I can find. And, um, and yeah, as, as it go goes along, I'll, you know, add videos about the, the project. And uh, see if I can focus on that little glass shrimp. Man, they're fast. Um, Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll add videos and stuff as I go along. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted.